And yeah, so I put on a bit of weight and stuff. And then to get out of that stage, I thought, right, I need to set a new goal. And that's when I thought I'd, do, I'd become a PTI, a uh, physical training instructor. That involves just training, say, 30, 30 guys. And, and you basically, you're in charge of their, their training program. You'll, you'll set up the circuits and, you, and you'll, you know, do the strength for them, do the, the sort of the, all their fitness needs. Um, and as you lads probably know in the gym, you have some banter back and forth. Um, we used to have some banter with one of the PTIs there. I was always a little bit faster than him, always a little bit stronger. Um, and he trained BJJ, so he was a uh, purple belt. Um, he's still training now. I think he's just got his black belt now. Um, and he was like, come and train with me. And I was like, well, it looks a bit strange. Because, <laughs> you know, for, when you first hear of BJJ, like you just think of like karate or, mm. or something like that, especially from an outsider. And now I'm in it. I can't believe I never knew about it. But at the time... I was like, okay, show me what it is. He said, what? And I said, what belt are you? And he said, I'm a purple belt. And I thought, well, he's not having a black belt. He can't be that good. So someone said that like, to me today. They were like, someone said to me, oh, how did you go get, get on last week? Yeah. And they were like, oh, you're a black belt? I was like, Pfft. <laughs> <laughs> I was like a fucking white belt. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And they, they look at you and feel like, what? what? But they don't yeah. understand like no. how fucking long that would take you to get yeah, a black belt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it was a crazy sort of... Um, like a, a thing for me because I like I thought like the majority of people well I'm stronger I'm fitter yes. he's not a black belt he can't be that good let's let's just roll and um, we had like a squash court in most camps and they've they've got mats in there now which is awesome um, and we just rolled for the hour and he literally just filled me in for the whole hour he like choked me he just which. Looking back, I don't think I would do it to like an intro coming into a gym now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'd think that, wouldn't you, mate? <laughs> is he fucking, burnt you, is oh, he? Mate, oh, God, no, fucking mate. Oh, mate. I got me in the cage and just raped me for an hour. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Absolute lies, I mate. don't. <laughs> he's, he's still at this point, right, where he's a white belt. Yeah. And everyone's still just being nice. Yeah. Fucking no. And his yeah. first taste of, of real jiu-jitsu was in his competition oh, the weekend. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. You, it's you quit. It's quit. He's, 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 he's chucked his That's gear it. out. Oh, he's, he's still in, but... <laughs> fuck your gear. Nah. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait till the blue belt blues get you, mate. Oh, mate. Oh, yeah. Got all the just come in. Yeah, get, get, your blue, get your blue belt, mate. All the white belts try and prove a point. Yeah. <laughs> all the higher belts don't hold back anymore. All the other blue belts are trying to get one up. It, who's holding back on me, mate? Because you fucking don't. Yeah. Mate, you'll <laughs> like, be surprised, like, mate. Him, like. I'll let you get your blue belt and I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll come and talk to you again about it. Sorry, mate, as you were saying. Yeah, so I, I think... So he, so he raped you? Yeah, he raped me. But, like, I think that's what I needed because, yeah. you know, it's a strange thing when, when people get exposed to that, they're either like, oh, nah, this ain't for me. Or they're like, wow, this is amazing. It's like opened your eyes up. And that's what I got from that. I was like, how did I never know? This was a thing because even, you know, being a council kid and growing up from, you know, Birmingham for all across the country, I believed I was tough. I've, you know, been to war, done all that stuff. In my mind, I'm like, oh, I can handle myself. I'm a pretty tough guy. And then you get put in that situation and you don't know anything. I'm just like, oh, mm. this is crazy. This is so that I just got addicted to it from there. 